This tutorial forms part of our basic computer training course for beginners and covers elements 8.14, 8.15 and 8.16 for those looking to qualify in the European Computer Driving Licence. The lesson is also suitable for anybody worldwide. Now this lesson is a continuation of our previous email lesson and is titled Using Email Part 2. And what we're going to take a look at is some basic commands that we didn't cover earlier and they are to use the reply function, forward a message and to print an email. I've got our Gmail account open in our inbox and we have a new message in our inbox and that's from Phil Taylor. And what I'm going to do is just going to open that and it's a straightforward message from Phil Taylor it says, Dear Maganga Team, Test Message, Test Message, Regards. Now what we want to do is we want to reply to this message. So after the message is the word reply. If we click on there, our email drafts page comes up and already in the to box is the email address of Phil Taylor who we're replying to. Now we can do various other things to this message that we can normally do when we're composing a message. So we can add for info, we can edit the subject and we can attach a file to this message. And in our text box we can add some text. So let's just put thanks very much. So I've just added some text and now we're going to send that. Our message has been sent. So let's go back to our inbox. And we'll open the message again. Now this time what we're going to do is we're going to forward the message. So if we click on the word forward, our message composure screen comes up but instead of having an email address already in there we can now forward that message to anybody that we want to that we've got an email address for. So if I quickly type in an email address one I prepared earlier and I can forward that and I can just add some text for your info. And I forward that on by just simply clicking the send button. and the message has been sent. Back to our inbox and if we take a look at that message that we received from Phil Taylor there are now three elements to the message because we've replied to it and we've forwarded it and those three elements are listed and if we wanted to we can print them by going to the print icon at the end or if we open the message and we use a menu at the right of the message again we have some options and one of those is print so we can print emails fairly easily and just to demonstrate what it looks like in Hotmail our message has been received that's the one that we replied to if we open it up there's the message thanks very much the reply that we gave and all our options are along the top. So our options from Hotmail, Reply, Forward, Delete, and right at the end there, Print, with a print icon. So that covers the basics of email. Thanks very much.